Researchers are often confused by metadata and what exactly a metadata document should contain. In this short video we try to explain what we understand by metadata and show how your standard documentation can fulfil your metadata requirements. So what exactly is metadata? Well, it is information to enable a researcher to fully understand a data set. This is often referred to as data about data. Over recent years there have been attempts to standardise metadata requirements. These include the Data Documentation Initiative and the Dublin Core Metadata Initiative. There are also several metadata editors available. Although useful in themselves, these initiatives are quite technical and to a typical researcher can seem quite daunting and off-putting. We will try a different approach. So what should be included? Well, imagine you were presented with a typical data set like the one shown here. In order to understand this data set, there are several questions you would need answering. This might be, where did this data set come from? What study does it belong to? Can I have details of the study? Where was the data collected and when? Who carried out the study? What does each column represent? Are these coded data or real values? And if they're coded, what do each of the codes mean? How were the data collected? Etc. Your metadata should address these questions. Some of the questions are study level questions. So we would have one level of metadata to describe the study. We refer to this as the study catalogue. Think in terms of what, when, where, who. So for example, what is the study about? When was the study carried out? Give start and end dates if known. Where was it done? Describe the location. Who carried out the study? Who were the individuals or organisations involved? Other questions, such as what does each column represent, are data level questions. We refer to this as the data dictionary. For each variable in your data set, you should include the data type, a variable label to briefly describe it. If it's coded uh, variable, then value labels will be needed so users can interpret the data correctly. Have you used any missing value codes and if so, what are they? Here we can see part of the study catalogue for the CCAF's Household Baseline Survey. This includes a brief description of the study. Also included would be a reference to other documentation, in this case the training manual. The training manual for the Household Baseline Survey includes a full description of the study, how sites were selected, the sampling methods used, the implementation plan, plus details of the sections of the questionnaire and why each section has been included. In the questionnaire used for the survey, we have included variable names. This alleviates the need to have a separate document with all the variable labels. We've also included many of the codes within the questionnaire. A couple of examples visible in this extract are the relationship of the respondent to the household head and the household type. Where there are too many codes to fit onto the questionnaire, we have included a separate codebook. Part of the codebook is shown here. This extract shows some of the crop codes that were used. OK, you say, but what's the minimum I need to provide metadata? Do I need to produce a separate document? Well, no, not necessarily. For the household baseline, we have the study catalogue giving a summary description, and we have the training manual giving a fuller description. This satisfies the requirements at the study level. At the data level, we have the questionnaire, which includes the variable names, and we have the codebook. If we had included any derived variables, we would need a document describing the calculation methods for each of these variables. But as there are no such variables included in our archive data, the questionnaire and codebook together fulfil the requirements for metadata at the data level. So to summarise, think about the two levels, the study catalogue, and the data dictionary. Ensure that the documentation that you supply gives enough information for the user to fully understand the study and the data.